At this week's Apple event, it was revealed that Big Sur will be releasing to the public on November 12th, but I've personally been using the operating system daily through its public beta, so I'm in the position to be able to give you a good review of it to help decide if you should upgrade. To start off with the fundamentals, it's just Mac OS. Not much is actually different about this version when compared to versions of OS X, so really the upgrade to OS 11 is referring less to the software and more to the Apple Silicon. But regardless, what do I think of the changes that are present? Well, when it comes to the visuals, I think the new look is just gorgeous, and it makes the style ushered in by OS X Yosemite look outdated and blocky by comparison. They replaced the white menu bar with a more translucent one that blends in just enough with your wallpaper to really complement it, while still staying visually distinct. They made the right uh, control click menus translucent as well, which is a really nice touch. And while I know the new icons are the most polarizing part of the OS, I think they were an excellent idea, and I really appreciate the idea of bringing back some of the depth seen in the pre-07 style. And while I still think that style was the best just for its ridiculous amount of detail alone, Big Sur is a close contender, and I think it demolishes Yosemite. No longer do you have to remember that the messages icon is blue. Now it looks like the one from iOS, only more Mac-esque. And while there are a few consistencies, they're extremely minor, and I'm glad that they have a more uniform style, which forces the icon designers to get more creative when differentiating the programs from one another. Unlike Yosemite's style, where I would constantly get text that it and notes confused because they look exactly the same. Moving away from visuals though, in terms of the design changes related to usability, I don't think Big Sur is an improvement, but at the same time I don't think it's a downgrade either. All they really did was just get rid of the outline surrounding buttons and make some minor layout adjustments. You'll get used to it fast, and I don't think it's necessarily any better or worse than the previous version. I almost forgot to mention the new system sounds though, and I can just say that they are just an absolute improvement across the board. In terms of the alert sounds, all the old ones were either dated or just flat out bad. But I think I can safely say that all the new sounds are nice and fresh, so if you upgrade I'd recommend checking them out. I think the other system sounds are great as well. Moving files basically sounds the exact same, but they added a background instrument. Same thing with Screenshot, which is, once again, the exact same, except they just added two notes. But I actually really like the new sounds for moving things to the trash and emptying the trash. Moving things to the trash is just a little more scratchier, and it's a lot of fun. When you empty it, just that sort of harsh bang is just really satisfying. But while I've been mostly positive so far, I do have a few negatives. As much as I say the design is just as good as the older versions, I will say that there is a new inconsistency when it comes to the search bar. In the finder, the search bar has instead been replaced with a search button that you have to click before you can start searching, which I think is stupid and unnecessary given the space you have in the header. But even worse, programs like Preview still keep the old search bar style. So I always forget that Finder even has a search function, and I just end up using Command Space to bring up Spotlight. Also, Control Center is utterly useless, and it's so obviously just filler so they can pat out the feature list. Not only are most of its functions already on the menu bar by default, but the function keys that are on every Apple keyboard one way or another makes it completely invalid. Why would you move your mouse to click a small icon on the top of the screen, then labor your way to precisely click on some sliders and drag them over, when you can just tap a button on your keyboard a few times. It's just kind of redundant. And one last thing, I have noticed a few more crashes than usual, which I want to pin on the fact that I've been using the beta versions, but given that this is a new release, I'm sure that crashing is going to be a little more common until a few performance updates come out. Nothing too devastating, but I thought I should mention it. All in all, I think Big Sur is worth an upgrade. The visual design is largely overdue, and once you start using it, you'll never want to go back. Even something as simple as rounding out the edges of the finder icon makes Big Sur feel so much friendlier and refreshing than Catalina. And the little rough edges that do exist aren't rough enough to bring the whole package down. I don't think Big Sur will really wow you beyond this, but for the new look alone, I'd recommend it.